hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge massive thank you for all the support i really do appreciate it so i did say i was going to come in with the little square book of perfect days um just give you a few ideas for using these um little books um obviously we've got all of the cats in here slightly larger images of some of the toppers but i mean there's such a, a lot of really great sort of pictures in here for sort of any occasion really is that magic i just saw there yeah sort of witchcrafty magic black cat you know sort of people that like their music so there's a letter there on the back that says dear granddad you know it's just such a lot of little lovely images in there so i'm going to make let me just pop that up there for a second so i'm going to make um two sort of quite quick six by six square cards and then um i might do either a stepper card or i could do a, um, a reverse easel so uh, i haven't quite made up my mind on that one but just because i want to just make things sort of as quick a video as i can so i've just brought in uh, my normal six by six um, card blank and if i bring in my trimmer i'm going to use oh, i did take some of this out so um, a gold miri square and i'm going to go two notches under the six um, on both sides just to bring in if you don't want the gold edge you can just pop that straight onto your card stock that's going to look great so let me just pop those keep meaning to throw them down there but my bin's not there um, and then i'm going to come in with this um, this is the papers from the insert and paper pack I'm not quite sure which side I'm going to use, whether it's going to be the lighter or the darker, but I think it's probably going to be the darker. Um, but I'm going to cut that at five and three quarters square. So that's going to be our mat. Okay, I'll just check that fits nicely. Yeah, so we've got a nice delicate board around. So uh, you remember when I spoke before about with these little books, um, especially with these ones that are um, matastic, um, you can go ahead, stamp and emboss. But in this case, I have um, just put one of my Spellbinders um, foiling dies on and I've just added an on your special day in that corner. So this is uh, for just over four and three quarters i'm just going to take the tiniest bit off that side and then i want to bring this down to a square but i want it to be about four and a half so my size off there um i don't think i want to take any off the top but let's take well i'm going to take a bit off the top let's take maybe about two notches off the top okay so now we've got a four and a half square and that's not going to take up too much of our um our card is still going to see some of that pattern behind and then i'm just going to cut myself a gold mirror which is four and a half just plus two notches just to give that really fine edge And that's going to go like so. Okay, so let's just pop those out of the way. And put them there. And what I am going to do is just bring in some, put some of my um, punches ready. And I've got these corner rounders. So just for the topper itself and the foil. Um, so I'm going to just do that properly. The foil um, cardstock. And this is just a tiny little edge. Uh, I'm pretty sure Hunky Dory's got punches like this, just a corner rounder still. Um, if they haven't, then any corner rounder will do. If you just pop in corner rounder on your search engine, pretty sure that's what you're going to find. Half a million of them. So let's just move those out of the way. So that should fit onto there quite nicely. Actually, I'm just going to do that corner again. It's just got a 
just put a little edge on it where it wasn't quite in properly. Okay, so we've got that one. I think I'm going to go with the light one. I did think I was going to go with the dark. That's too similar to the back. We'll go with this dark one. It's going to be fine. Okay, so let's bring on the glue. So I'm going to be using my usual glues today. So I've got my Kalau All Purpose which is the same as the Hunky Door Reconstruction Glue in that one. And I've got Tacky Glue, um, Kalau Tacky Glue in that one. Um, I'm also going to be using, just because this is the one I've got to hand, it's a little bit dusty because I was sanding yesterday, um, the Crafters Companion Dotty Tape Pen. And that's just because I'm going to use that on the paper, not on the cardstock. Um, so if you haven't got that one, the Hunky Dory have, Hunky Dory have just started doing their own tape pens. Um, which as soon as I've used I've got I think I've got two of these left well actually this is the downstairs one so I've got one upstairs and then I think there's two in the packet so when they're gone then obviously I'm going to try the hunky dory one see how they are I like the I like the idea that they are refillable so um, yeah I really do like that okay let's just make sure put this around and um, so when I'm using paper I don't like to use the tacky glue that's purely because it is a PVA type of glue so it has got quite a high water content to it um, so I do let's put that in that way just so now it's the right way up um, I like to have the Kalau all purpose won't sink into your cardstock it won't um, make it rock up um, so you still get that manoeuvrability so you get it in the right place and then those dotty, dotty glues will hold that where we want that to be. So I'm going to do the same on here. A little bit of purpose. I'll put a few more of these glue dots on there. Now if you wanted to you could go ahead and decoupage this up. I'm not going to today. All of my um, toppers that I'm using, I'm using flat. So just want to make the most of them as they are. Okay. Now what I have also bought in, and I don't think it's available from Hunky Dory, it are these little gold um, peel-offs. So um, you can pretty much get these from anywhere. They are still available. Usually between a pound pound 50 they used to be 75p when i bought these but i know they have gone up since then so and there's various different types this one if i can pick it up let me grab my knife this one is a sort of there's two different types there's a sort of chain bar And there's these sort of spooky ones. So let me grab and we'll decide I need to stick together. And what I'm going to do is just pop my card on my mat. And I'm just going to go from the second square to the second square just cut that there for a second I will trim it down more in a minute and then I'm going to do the same at the top line it up with a corner and then just go second square to second square okay and then what I can do is if I pick up the end Press my blade on to the. Let me just pop these on there. To put those in the bin. Um, you can just pop on your knife blade on the edge of that paper, and it should just cut these on that edge, making it nice and neat for you. 
that one and the last not least that one okay so now we've just got that little bit of detail in there I'm just going to pop a little bit of this glue on my knife which is going to seem a little weird but I've just got a bit of paper poking up there just want to put that glue right under and that will not affect my knife in any way but I will just wash it off on a bit of tissue okay okay so now we can come ahead with this piece here so I want some foam pads I'm not going too high so these are about a two millimeter strip yeah we'll go with these ones and if I my scissors out and you know me I like to put quite a bit of support underneath and then we can just put those a little press down and then get these backs off and I'll just put some tacky glue on the back just to give us that little bit of wiggle room time, let's just put that on the floor for now. I will hoover up afterwards. And it's just taking its time. Oops. Right, so just to put some tacky glue along, just to give us that bit of wiggle room time. Also does mean that it's a bit of extra security with the stick. Okay. And then let's get this to push the cap the right way around. And I'm just going in the middle. Okay. Then if we grab some gold gems. This is when our tacky glue is going to come in. I'm going to pop three in here. Just want something. Mm -hmm. We've got quite a few small ones here. a lot of glue on there but it will dry clear so I'm not going to fiddle about with it too much. Oops, it's blowing bubbles. Now I'm going to do the same on this side so Obviously, if you wanted to, you could go in, add glitters, um, you could add more foil to it if you wanted to, um, you know, lots of different ways that you can extend that further, but that's just a really simple way, it's not going to cost a lot of money to make a card like that, it's just a little bit of the piece of paper and some gold card stock, and as long as you've already got a foiling machine and... Um, or you could use a stamp so you could use a stamp as well so and then just um, put some um, embossing powder on and then put some gold on and that would give you the same effect okay so that's just one so we're going to quickly just go into number two so we've got another six by six here now I haven't decided which one I want to use um, cat wise um, I think I want to use the green paper and some of the brown. So if there are some green brown tones, that would be awesome. It's got some 
lovely butterflies on. No, because if I did that, I'd want to cut the butterflies out, so let's not use that one. Okay, that one could work. Let's go with this one. Okay, so this one I'm probably going to be able to cut down a bit smaller, but what I am going to do, actually, rather than cutting it smaller, I'm going to bring in one of these frames that um, I've not used on the other parts of the kit. So I'm just going to go around, just pop some little dots all the way around. Because I want that to stick down quite nice and closely. We'll just take a little bit of the excess off so it doesn't flood. And then we're just going to frame our cat up. Doesn't matter that it goes off the edge because we're going to be cutting around that edge anyway. So let's pop that to the side and we'll let that settle while we work on the actual card itself. So I've got a piece that I already did cut into and one of these uh, card stocks has got a plank. So just pop those there a second, bring up my trimmer and as always I'm going to start with my largest mat first and I'm taking two notches six. and then I'm taking two notches of the six that way. Okay, so that should fit nicely onto there and it does. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with this green one and we're going to do our normal five and three quarter square. And then that should fit onto there quite nicely. Okay, and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do two and a half centimeters square. And then I'm going to cut that corner to corner. Let's go ahead and start to assemble this one. So again, going to pop some tacky glue. And I love the papers in this kit. There's like I think there's one that I would find hard to use because um, it's quite floral. That's only because floral papers. I think you just need a bit of it. So I really like this this one. This looks like my sister's. Um, wallpaper but there is one let me just show you now yeah, this one it would probably look lovely under a bit of vellum for me you know sort of calm it down a little bit um but that was the only one that i was a bit i mean i love this one but we use this one here um so again it's the paper so i'm going to use my all-purpose And I've got a few more dots on this one since the other one didn't want to stick down in the middle. Just being careful not to put my fingers in the glue. Okay. And I don't think there's a right or a wrong way for this one. Maybe, but I can't see it. Just checking I've got that the right way up and then this one just put a little bit 
up to it in the middle and I want these ends to stick down so I'm just going to make sure I've got some dots in those ends and then what I'm going to do is match these corners up okay now I'm going to be using the um, gold peel-offs to match the join but you could use anything ribbon would be lovely but obviously if you're doing ribbon think about how you're going to get that on I would probably do this attach it to the gold put the ribbon so that the ribbon ends go behind the actual um, gold mirror okay so we've got that one on there and then if I grab my peel off again which I've now just buried under all this paper all right come on that's it let's see I kind of want a knife again and what I'm doing on this I'm taking two of these together and they make this chain so let's move it up a bit actually so we're just going to pop that along that edge so it's nice and easy just follow it we'll just cut it there for now and then again this one What's up in there? Get another piece. So. so, because these are two pieces together to make the chain, uh, they just come apart a bit at the bottom. So, because they are so fine, it would have been, been almost impossible for me to get that back where I wanted that to go. So just another one. You can put all the little off cuts back on the sheet. So again, just move back on there. And because I've got two here now, it's a little harder to actually that pick can go because that's a tiny bit. Put that there and then like I say you could use ribbon, um, you could use um, these little bits that we cut off there, they would look nice as well. You could use another piece of contrasting cardstock, a little bit of glitter, little strip of glitter that you've got, anything like that. Oops. I'm going to use just like that because that's misbehaving. Okay, so quite similar to the other card in a way, in that we've got this a uh, separation going round. Um, but we've got those different colours on there and we've separated the whereas this one we've just separated it just with a bit of a decoration but this one we've added the whole bit in so let's come back to this topper which has dried now and then I'm just going to go along that edge with my knife and I'm just aiming it under so that it's cutting just under and it's only paper so it's really easy to cut you know we usually we have I mean I don't know about you but I have so many of these bits of paper that I um, these bits of frame that I um, don't use up and these little books are perfect for that Oops. 
you can also of course make your own frames with your dies and and uh, whatever so and just going in nice and careful um, baby paisley's doing okay um still in the special care baby unit she's breathing on her own so she's doing well uh, my sister went in to see her obviously uh, officially first time nanny although her partner's got kids that they look after um you know grandchildren that they look after um but it's the first time she's sort of got an official title should i say official nanny so, but they're going to be living with them anyway so She'll be there all the time, I would imagine. Sort of. Well, it's a little girl. My sister only had boys. Which uh, I think... She wasn't disappointed, don't get me wrong. She loves her boys. But she had hoped for a girl to dress up and nice clothes and, and that. And she got these two boys that like digging in the dirt and mending cars. So... Uh, I think she's really looking forward to it. I'm just tidying up any bits that I can see there. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. No, there's a little bit there. Just caught my eye. And it doesn't matter what it looks like on the back because nobody is going to see that because this is going to be our topper on here. So let's grab some pads. I'm just going to go with a one millimetre one this time. And these are quite chunky square ones. I'm trying to stick together. They've been out a little while. Sometimes when they've been in the fresh air, they get a bit gluey. And it's not just these ones, it's all of them. This companion, the cheap ones, the expensive ones, it's all the same. And just giving that plenty of support because it is paper. Just pop. And then. come off there we go we got it right let's get rid of all these little bits okay so just putting some tacky glue on there and I'll bring that down make sure we've got it the right way around I'm going to pop that across there and then I've got when I was doing my foiling yesterday I've got this little one here on your special day it's in blue so we've got these touches of blue in there so I'm gonna hopefully that should be around about the right size This is all stuck up. Let's get to that. And just want to pop a bit up there as well, just for support. And usually, what I do is cut the same sentiment out a couple of times and then just stick them back to back. It saves on the foam pad and you get a solid solid little topper there, sort of something that I've picked up from watching 
other crafters on uh, YouTube. All right, let's pop that around there. And this um, di this uh, gl glimmer set um, was a Yana's one. She does some lovely sentiments. Okay, and then I think we're going to come in with some lovely gold curls again. I think I might do sort of scattered with these, so. hate it when it does the bubbles so one two three four five and sort of mix sizes oh, these are all the same size okay there's a small one so I think I'm going to get much smaller than that I might get away with that one yeah, and then I'm just going to do put a six on this side. So one. Apologies if Henry does bark in a minute. The neighbours, I think it's the little girl's birthday. Uh, I keep forgetting, we keep forgetting when it is. Um, but they've had people going up and down the path all, all day. So, And that's the second one. So that's card number two. Okay, so I'm just going to pop those there. And I'm going to go straight into card number three. And I think... What shall I do? Shall I do a reverse easel? I haven't done one of those for a while. But I do like a stepper and I think these would look nice with a stepper. Let's pick the picture first. And then that will give us an idea which way to go. So, we've got this one. Remember with the, oh it's a mug. That was the creepy face that was on it. And before, we've got that one. Barnaby. Oh, that one's cute. So let me see. Say so, that would be. We need to go down to about four. So if I move that over there. Yeah, I think we can do that. We'll go with a stepper and what. We'll Oops, that gives me card. Let me just pick that up. Oh, icky bones. Oh, sorry. Oh, there we go. So, let's just put that back. No, oops, sorry, excuse my arm. Just put that up there on the window ledge. Okay, let's go with a stepper. So, easy stepper, 6 by 12 cardstock. All, all the white cardstock I use is 300 GSM. And I'm putting it over my cutting line, so I've got an inch on here. And I'm going to go from one to seven. And then I'm going to turn that over and do exactly the same. So from seven to one. Okay. Pop that one out of the way for a minute. Then we're going to bring in a school board. We're going to score at one and two and seven. And then it's not going to matter, I'm just going to flip it over, do it the same on the other side. One, two and seven. And then if I just use a piece of card to guide me, just need to go along the middle at the six inch. It's just going across there. 
Okay. It's better if you use a ruler, if I'm honest with you, but um, things keep getting moved around down here, which is a bit of a shame. But anyhow, that's my problem. So we're going to use this as a front. So I'm going to fold those two back and then they will go up and then those will go down and that will go down okay so what it will end up with when it settles and it does feel like it's going wrong because i always get my heart beating a little fast each time but you just ease it and it will go into this lovely shape okay and then when it stands up, that's the angle of it from the side. And you sort of get those, those pieces there. Okay, so let's bring in our mat, uh, our cutter. And um, we're gonna start with our gold. So I need um, two pieces of one by five. Now, let me just have a quick look here because I might have an odd little bit of. Yeah, so let's not use up. Is that. Yeah, it's gold. So if I cut that to five, and then I can cut that to two notches under the one. Actually, it should be two notches under the five. And two notches under the one. So let's just take those ends off. And um, two notches under the one. Okay, so that's those pieces there. And then we want a piece for um, this uh, front. So I've got another little piece here. Keep that there. So this needs to be two notches under the six and again two notches under the one I'm hoping that's going to stay straight No, it's not. Okay, let's go with the big piece. Let's do it from here. So two notches under the one. If I have my tape, I will tape it down and it'll be fine. But um, that is not hand, and I don't want to go running off to get it. Okay, so that's there. And then we've got this centre piece, which is going to be two notches under the four. And I believe it's two notches under the five. So let's have a little look on there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so um, in terms of the decorating, what I have got is so we've got blue, so I kind of feel like I want to use that blue again. I might use a little bit of the brown across the, the bottom, and then maybe the brown at the top as well. Okay, so I want the um, the wood to go as if it would, if it would, as if it um, would be on a wall, which would be horizontal. It's vertical, isn't it? Yeah, horizon. It's that way. So um, I'm just going to take that at three quarters of an inch, and obviously we want that to be five and three quarters. And then that should fit quite nicely onto there. So we've got our little bit of wood there. And then this piece, I think I want to use it for both of these, but I'm going to use the, I think I use, you're not going to see much of that. Actually, you're not going to see any of that, are you? So I just need to do the strips. And I think... I'm going to do them in the darker colour. Now let's do them in the lighter colour because we did the dark one before. So I need to cut that at three quarters of an inch again. So just taking two sixteenths off each time. 
and then that needs to be four and three quarters and I don't think I'm going to get two bits out of there which is quite sad and then again four and three quarters oh, that's moved there we go and they should fit quite nicely on to there okay now we need to cut this down to four by five wasn't it yeah four by five so let's take a whole heap off there so I want to cut like that to there and it's just going to be a case of just taking bit by bit until I'm happy because we need to get it down to three and three quarters but I don't particularly want to cut any off the cat and I want the image to kind of make sense as well so three and three quarters so a little bit there I'm going to have to take a little bit this side Okay, so I can take, let's take that to there, and then let's see, we can get that there, that's fine. So we've got our smaller square image, actually it shouldn't be square, it should be longer. Okay, let's do that again. I can still use that though, it's a square, it's useful. Sorry, it got carried away. Alright, let's find them again. Here you are. Thank goodness they got six of each image. Right, so the four inches, which is the across, so we went to one right there. So three and three quarters. Yeah, and then it needs to be five so how much do we need to so we're a little short on that that's fine what will we do with that then I oh, know it goes all right look so you don't need to chop any actually I'm going to take the smidgiest bit off the top because oh, it's four and three quarters that's why so we go. there we go been a long long week thank heaven it's the weekend that's all I can say okay so we've got all our pieces here let's start to pop these together so I'm gonna go let's do let's do this bit first of all so obviously on these cardstock bits which is the gold miri I can still use my normal glues, which is the tacky glue and the all purpose. Just make sure we get that nice. And then I'm actually gonna, I think I'm gonna have to risk it for a biscuit and just use the dotty tape and you watch this go wrong now as soon as the other thing nearly did. Okay, so just a little there we go so that wasn't too bad I don't know if I'll be doing it on here but we will see so let's pop these bits on so sorry this is a slightly longer video but it's just because I wanted to give you that extra idea with with the um, the lookbook so you've got that extra card so it just makes the video a little longer which is great if you want inspiration not so great if you're looking for a quick video but with these little books don't be afraid to chop into them you know whatever you want to do whatever project they can go for anything um, 
I know I did mention last time about the rocker card die, apparently that's um, now out of stock, um, hunky dory, or discontinued maybe even. I'm hoping not discontinued, I'd hope, I was hoping they'd do a couple more like different shapes for it, would have been quite cool. But hey hey. Um, I know there are a few, you can sort of find them, they are quite rare, but you can find it online. Um, but um, I'm just going to open this out a bit just to get this on straight. Um, they are quite expensive. But there are other rocker card dies out there, so, you know, you're not limited to Hunky Dory. It's just that Hunky Dory was the one that I found and used. I saw that and I thought, oh yeah, that's going to be really useful. And it has been, I've, I've used it quite a few times. So I'm hoping they haven't got rid of it because um, I was planning on using it again in the future. Hey ho. So this doesn't seem to have an up or a down, so that's the bright side on this blue pattern because I've been turning it around and it's not messed anything up. But there we go, that's where we're at at the moment. So now we've got this big piece here. So I'm going to pop my all-purpose on so there's a bit of string there. I'm going to go around these edges. down nicely for me and then we just put that on hover a little bit a little bit off on one side I think let's see if it's gonna let me get it up now okay we won't, we'll leave it it's just a tiny bit narrower at that top so it's not perfect but it's okay so the other thing I wanted to do, I did talk about ribbon, so I've got this really super thin dark blue ribbon. And I've got my super sticky tape there. I'm not sure if I want to go, I don't want to do another one where I'm going across like that because I'm quite conscious I've done the three. So I'm going to go across the top. But you could certainly do it like I've done on these other cards, just going across, giving you that little. Right, so I'm just going to pop that on there, move it on, on there. Give it a really good burnish down. Take those off. Oops, sticking to me. Uh, just making sure I've got the right way around for my ribbon. One on there. And then just across. Don't want to pull it so tight that it warps the, the card, but I want it to be nice and straight. Okay. So again, with the scissors, off and then because we are on this cardstock I can use my tacky glue I just pop a bit underneath obviously we're going to pop some in the corners anyway and then our all purpose just gonna pop this on to there And I need a sentiment, so I'm going to go back to the original kit. Um, I've got that made with love just for you. And if I grab some of these ones that I've been crafting with already. Now we've got this sentiment here which says you make everything better. I think I want that one. And what's that one? There we've got a, on the uh, your porcelain warmest wishes. 
um, or we've got, which might go nicely, a your pour some. Not sure I like that. I like the blue on it, but I don't like the orange flowers. Okay. I think I'm going to go with this one. And I am going to put this on a little bit of a um, we'll put this on a bit of foam. So this is the only thing on my card that is popped up. And this is about a two millimeter foam pad. So this is going in the center. Let's put the right way around. So we're just going to have that bridge in both. So we know that's flat, apart from my little bit of ribbon there. Um, I'm going to bring out my little bow maker. And if I can't, this is probably going to be way too long, but. Uh, round it goes. And then, so with this plaster on my finger, it just um, hamper me a little bit. So it goes round, over, and under. And then I can put that nice and tight. We've got the teeny tiniest little bow for that teeny tiny ribbon. Put some of those off. Now, I've seen a trick online, and I want to see if it works. So normally, what I use on my bows is um, the Kalau um, 3D glue gel. But I have seen a trick online, and I just have to grab the right tweezers. Is it those ones? Yes, it is. So it needs to be these type of tweezers that hold themselves close, closed. And what they do is they put their PVA glue on. Put sticky on my fingers. Um, then they get their bow in the right place. Let's pop that round. Oh, I think. And then what they do is they pop that. And that holds that in that glue. There we go. And I should be able to do um, some gems while that is doing there. Now I have got just first thing out of the box are these quite pretty ones. Are they going to show up on the brown? They will. I'm going to go with them. All this sticky stuff on my fingers, I'm not quite sure why. Um, or we could go with some of these and then we could pop those in there. What do the darker blue ones look like? See, these are all the same size. This is the only thing with these. Hmm. Now I'm going to change my mind and go with these ones. So these came, um, I think these came out of, actually came out of a subscription box. So um, they would have been a crafter's companion one. So I'm just going to pop a little on where you can see these flowers. It's only like three or four. And then I'm going to grab these smaller ones. Oops, dropped it. On. There, I think there was one. Tweezers keep dropping things. Uh, I want to turn it around, but I don't want to disturb my card with that bow at the top. Okay, where's that one drop to? So we've got that little bit of sparkle there. 
and then I want to put one, two, three. So how many have I got? So I've got this bigger one I want in the middle. Probably should have put a bit more space in here, but we'll manage. And let's have a look at this one. I think that's probably going to be best, the medium sized one. Alright, so got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, we are fine for the odd numbers. Okay, and then just because I'm not going to be gluing anymore, let me just cover those glues up. I'm going to bring in that um, oh yeah, sparkle overlay pen. And if I just move you around a little bit, what I'm going to do is just pick up on these bits of flour. So I've just got something there, not, I mean you could do the cat, you could do anything you want really. Um, and then what I'm going to also do is just pick up on some of these leaves as well in this blue. And I'm not going careful, I'm just, just popping it on. It's sort of a holly list sort of type leaf, sort of, um, Looks like it's got some kind of prickles on. I'm not going all the way down to the bottom because it's not going to be seen. I'll just turn this round and do the same on the other side. And then this will be the last one. And I did actually get my club gift. Did I get it yesterday? I think I got it yesterday. So i um, super happy that I can have a play with that next time. Um, it is a really nice kit. Um, I, think, I think it might be difficult to see that on the TV, but it is a really nice kit. But let's see, how has this done? Has it stuck? Da -da 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 -da. It was a little bit wobbly, but we will... We'll trust the process. If not, I can always add a little bit of 3D glue gel. But that is that finished one. Obviously for the insert, I would just cut that to size inside. So let me bring all of these little book cards that we've made today. They're all a little bit different, but a little bit the same. So there's the three ways that I have used those today. So hopefully that's given you a bit of inspiration on how to use your little perfect days book or maybe even just carry it on into other books that you may have. Like I say, you don't have to go super high on them. I mean, this could um, just as easily have been flat as this. This is a flattest card um, with just two millimetres on there and the fold. Um, but you could put that flat again. You know, you don't have to. Lots of options. Um, but thank you so much for watching today. Like I say, thank you so much for all the support. Um, I think I noticed today that I'm nearly at 750 subscribers. And I think what I might do is um, like a little card giveaway when I get to 750. Um, and it'll just be a case of I'll do a post on my Facebook page. Um, and then just add your name on there. Um, but I'll do that when we reach 750 and I'll announce it. And hopefully it'll be by the next video. Um, but you know it's just it is what it is at the end of the day I enjoy crafting and making these videos gives me an excuse to craft um, not that I need an excuse to craft but it makes me craft and I feel better when I craft so um, they have been really helpful for me in, in my recovery um, with my health uh, mental health problems so um, yeah I really do appreciate every one of you being here and supporting me on that but um, have a great weekend. Um, until next time, happy crafting. Bye.